Hello, welcome to another video. Today I want to start a short series of videos addressing the International Religion Freedom Summit that takes place each year. This year it will be hosted in Washington from January 31st until February 1st. Now in this series of videos I will address three topics in um, short clips. I will talk about what the IRF summit schedule is, um, what, uh, how I think they will address China and the summit. Uh, in another video, I will address some of the issues with a few of the partners and the speakers of the IRF summit. And in some cases, I will point out some possible crimes. So stay tuned for these videos. Now, the next clip uh, will be about the differences in religion, uh, freedom between China and many Western countries, mainly what is allowed and not allowed um, and the reasons why certain things are not allowed in China. So let's get started with this series. The, the event has been organized in four sections. They are defending, documenting, developing and denying. So I'm going to start with denying. The organizers claim uh, to focus on legal, justice and accountability, as accountability aspects of freedom of religion. One case that will for sure be mentioned is the trial in Hong Kong of Cardinal Joseph Zen. His case will be used to claim a loss of religious freedom in Hong Kong at the hand of Beijing and it will also be used to attack the national, national security law in Hong Kong. What these speakers would not tell you is that Cardinal Zen broke the laws of Hong Kong, the laws that have absolutely nothing to do with the national security law which was instituted to control the 2019 US funded color revolution. Cardinal Zen will face national security law charges later on this year, but for now, he has been found guilty of financial crimes that are indisputable. He failed to properly register his humanitarian uh, relief fund, which was used to help pay medical and legal fees for arrested protesters at the beginning of 2019. That is a charge that is unrelated to the national security law, and that is very clear. Now, onto the claims of uh, loss of religious freedom in Hong Kong, they will not tell you that Cardinal Sens himself says that he hasn't seen any erosion of religious freedom in Hong Kong. As you see here, link is in the description uh, of this video. But organizations like Hong Kong Watchers and Hong Kong Free Press will tell you otherwise. And those lies will for sure be echoed at the summit. Mark my words. Now let us address another victim that uh, I'm sure will be mentioned again, Wang Yi. Wang Yi is the founding pastor of the Early Rain Covenant Church, is a Calvinist house church in Chengdu. Wang was sentenced in 2019 to nine years in prison for operating his church outside the legally allowed Chinese Protestant organization and for illegal business operations which stem from printing the books about Christian culture. Let us be clear, both of these actions are crimes in China. There's no two interpretations about this. Much like the case of Cardinal Zen in Hong Kong, you will not hear this little part of the story. So a man of the clergy in Hong Kong committed a crime and he will face justice for it. And a man in Chengdu operated a church outside the legally allowed parameters and is now facing justice for that. That's what's taking place here in China. However, do you think the summit will discuss the legal justice and accountability aspects of freedom of religion when it comes to pedophilia in the Catholic Church? Do you think they will discuss the strange legal case of the late Australian Cardinal George Pell? If you don't know about it, in 2018, Cardinal Pell became the highest ranking Catholic official to be convicted of child sex abuse on five counts. One of those counts included oral penetration against two choir boys and St. Patrick's Cathedral in Melbourne, where they were witnesses. However, the sentence was overturned in April 2020. Why? How come? Or what about the case of the woman who disappeared at the Vatican? She was a resident at the Vatican and one day she just disappeared. But because it's the Vatican, we know nothing about it and we cannot demand an investigation. None of these cases will be discussed at the IRF summit or the thousands of allegations of pedophilia that riddle the churches through the world. They will discuss Cardinal Sen's paper documented crime and his punishment. And you should wonder why that is. Is there an anti-China agenda to the summit? Is it as benevolent as the name makes us believe? But we're coming to a junction that requires some explaining. 